Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be making apple ginger cupcakes. Now these sweet cupcakes have a great texture due to the great apple chunks that we're going to be putting inside of them. For this recipe you will need walnuts that have been soaked for at least six hours, juice from limes, or if you don't have any limes go ahead and just purchase the juice that has already been squeezed out, apples, date that you'll soak and pit, and also ginger. We have all of our ingredients. What we'll do is we'll take them and combine them into the food processor. So I have a cup of the walnuts that I soaked overnight, but like I said, six hours is fine. And not only do we want to soak the walnuts to remove the tannins, which make them difficult to digest, but we're also soaking the walnuts because we want to have like a soft texture to our cupcake. It makes it really nice, as opposed to if they, they were just kind of hard walnuts. And then I have my, my two apples that I chopped. And we'll just put in there. And I first made these for um, my daughter's third birthday. I had just got into raw and I was like, why don't I make raw cupcakes? Because actually desserts is what got me into raw. For me, once I found like going gluten free, it was really hard to find really good desserts that were also gluten free. So I just found it easier to eat raw desserts and really enjoy them because you didn't really feel like you were missing anything. If you kind of had something that was gluten free, like a gluten free cookie or something, you just it just tasted like it was missing something. But with raw desserts, I mean by nature, it's just not going to have gluten in it. So it's fine. It tastes great. So I was like, let me make these and see if my daughter will enjoy them for her birthday. And she did. She loved them. And then I also have the dates, which I pitted and I soaked. So just depending on how soft your, um, your dates are, like it depends on what kind you get. These are the dagets, I believe it's pronounced. Um, but it just depends on how soft your dates are as to how long you'll need to soak them. It can be 15 minutes, 30 minutes. We have our six dates also that are actually um, going to be soaking for a longer period of time just to make sure they're really soft for the icing or the frosting. But for the ones that you're going to put in the cupcake, you just want to make sure they're nice and soft so that they, you know, continue to add to what the soft texture is that we're going to have. And you can see my processor is going to be stuffed because I need to get a big one. So I don't know. I may have to kind of downsize. I wanted to try to get it all in there, but I don't think it's going to fit. <laughs> yeah, because I'm probably not supposed to feel past that line, huh? Yeah, maybe if I would have chunked the apples a little bit more. Let's see if we can smash it. So, I'm making these for a party that we are going to. I'm like, dang, she all messed up smashing it in there. But okay. I'm making these for a party that we're going to. So, you know, being gluten-free, being vegan, um, we're not going to be partaking in the birthday cake. But, um, so what I do is I just kind of bring our own cupcakes and my daughter is totally, totally fine with it. She just looks at the cake they're having, thinks it's pretty, you know, no big deal. And she's totally fine with eating her own, you know, her own little thing. So, I was bringing enough to share in case anybody else wants any. But, you know, I always want to make sure my daughter doesn't feel left out, so make sure that she has something. And I know for any parents that have kids that have allergies, you know, it's just kind of something we have, you know, we have to do. You know, just to make sure, you know, they don't get sick. And I've just explained to my daughter, you know, we can't have dairy, you can't have gluten. You know, it can make you sick. And having something she really likes is very, very helpful in that situation. Alright, so I smashed it in here. <laughs> now we'll see if it works. So, that's what we're going to do. And last, my ginger. I'll just kind of put that on top. And then we're just going to process this so everything is well blended. And we want it to still have some nice chunks in it. So we don't want it to be totally... Um, you know, 
too well blended, just enough to leave, just to have like a nice texture to it. When I first made these, I had a nice big food processor, and that one I don't have anymore. So that's what's making my life a little bit more difficult. Okay, so I had to work with it a little bit since I'm using a smaller food processor, but I got it done. I had to do a little bit more processing than I would have wanted to, so I don't have quite the chunky texture that I'm looking for. And I do have a few chunks of apples still in there, to be real with you. But if there's a will, there's a way, and you work with what you have. So if you can't afford one of the bigger food processors, it just goes to show you, just try to break up your batches and try to um, get it processed so that you have um, a decent texture to it. Actually what happened, and I'll tell you while I'm putting these into my cupcake holders that I have, is I had a big processor like I told you I had before, but it was part of my blender. They worked with the same base, so when my blender went out, I couldn't use the processor anymore. So I just went to Costco and bought like a little $25 processor just to kind of get me going for a little bit and kind of never got around to replacing it. So I didn't notice that I really needed to replace it other than the fact that this one does kind of take a little bit of time to do stuff. But until I started making cupcakes and then it was like oh I don't have enough room and this little thing to hold all of my batter. So I will work on getting one of those. They smell good. It smells like there's cinnamon in them and I didn't put any cinnamon in them. I find that each date has its own kind of unique kind of taste and flavor to things. So you really want to like pick, you can really pick, you know, dates that will match kind of what you want to eat. Now these I just happen to get the gate. I think that's how I pronounce the dates because I don't like them in jewels and that was kind of my only choice because the ones I normally get. They don't have, they're not in season right now. So I just happened to get those, but I was eating them and I was like, these remind me of cinnamon rolls. And so I think that's kind of where that cinnamon taste is coming from, where that cinnamon smell is coming from, is from the dates. So it's just cool how it works out like that. So when I make cinnamon rolls, I will definitely be using this kind of date. It's gonna be really good. So now that we have them in the pan, we'll go ahead and pop these in the refrigerator for about an hour and then we'll work on our frosting. So I've already put inside the food processor the other cup of soaked walnuts and then also the six soaked dates. I soaked them for an hour and took the pits out, chopped them up, put them in the food processor. I'm going to add a teaspoon of lime juice. And then I also have the water that I soaked the dates in. I have that to the side so I can add to it as add to the frosting as needed to get that nice consistency that I'm looking for. Let me find my lid. Ta-da! Okay, so now we're going to blend this up so we get it nice and smooth. That works if you want to have kind of a little bit of a chunky texture. Otherwise, you can use a high-powered blender and get it even, even smoother. So I got the cupcakes out of the refrigerator, and I'm just going to spoon the icing on. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. So I'm just going to take it and kind of dollop it on there, shall we say, and smooth it out. And then we'll be all finished with our cupcakes. And I won't get to do a taste test since we're going to save these for tomorrow. But if you try this recipe, let me know. And if you want to see more recipe videos or other videos relating health and fitness and all that good stuff, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I love to read your comments, so please comment below. Alright, thank you for watching.